The origins of the steeplechase go back more than 100 years overseas in Ireland. But this adaptation is going to be slightly different here inside the home of the crazy cat's eyes. Hey, everybody. I'm Greg Woods. Team Momo leads the way, but those margins have gotten a bit closer, just a seven-point lead up at the top. Back in 2017, when we ran this event, the top four teams back then in steeplechase were the top four teams overall. Not really in that order, but still, will the top four perform well here? We'll have to see. As the... Oh, my, there's already a stoppage back there. We've got somebody who got caught at the beginning, but this is a great representation because... The times are the sum of the three best marbles plus whatever penalties they serve. So you have to clear those gates. Make sure that you make it down the order. The blue pupils will serve as the event records. This is a new course as we get things going with the Rojo Rollers. Oh, and one goes to the near side. Veered off. That is going to be a penalty. I think there was another bump farther down below. And that is a 23 Six, seven. Here was the first obstacle getting caught and immediately tumbling to the side. If you dislodge those sticks over the steeple, that does get you a penalty. Minty Maniacs now. Top three are stringing out a little bit. They got to bunch it up. Oh, there's a bump farther down. And that's going to be a penalty for them. 23 9 0 for the Minty Maniacs, a team sitting in 15th in the standings. They are yet to medal. Limers coming up now, just one spot ahead of the Minty Maniacs in the overall standings. And they've got a nice tight bunch formation here, but it comes undone over the speed boost. It's the top three though, and that should help. Oh, two penalties though, 23-6-8. One hundredth off of the Rojo Rollers leading time. Crazy cat size up now for the home team. Just 13th in the standings. They've got to get going. You notice we're working in reverse championship order. Oh, there's two that are dislodged as they work their way down the course. Three, actually. That's a 23-7-4. Those top four teams, by the way, back in 2017. In the order they finished, Savage Speeders, Mellow Yellow, Midnight Wisps, and the Orangers. Limers were down an eighth. Gliding Glaciers, a team that was not in the running back then, just like Crazy Cat's Eyes, are off now. Over the speed boost, they keep it in the middle. I think they dislodged that second to last stick. Oh, three penalty seconds added on. 24 6 9 puts them in fifth. Now Mellow Yellow, one of those top three teams from 2017. Second place back then. They've already lost one marble way back there. It's the top three times, though, that do count. Oh, and they've done it! That is a new record, which, you know, was not that long-lived anyway. But more importantly, they go to the top of the standings. 21-7-6. That beats the Rojo Rollers' time of 23-6-7. Shining Swarm coming up now. 10th place team thus far in the standings. Oh, you heard that impact. You saw the second one. I think there have been more. There goes one at the back. Oh, that run is falling away from them. The farther down they come, four penalty seconds added and a seventh place in run seven. That tells you all you need to know. Indigo Stars keeping it in the middle here. Have they stayed clean? No, that second to last steeple has really complicated a lot of runs, but they keep it tidy enough with a 23-2-9 to move into second place. Provisionally, silver medalists with half the field yet to go. Taking a look at the current standings, only one team has gotten away with just a single penalty, and that is the team in first place. They actually could have gotten another one, and they still would have the lead. That's how strong that performance was. Chalk the Tears. They've won a gold in this Marble League once before. Earlier in this season, are they going to be able to do it again in this event? Doesn't look like it. Four penalty points. Second to last they come. Thunderbolts, a team that has not medaled yet. 
Separation with the lead marble. Now the second one passes. I think we have one get stuck farther up the course. Oh, it's not a bad time. 23-5-0 with those two penalty points. Oh, those seconds added. No, here, there's where it got caught. That otherwise would have been a great run. The Orangers, former silver medalists earlier in this Marble League. They bunch way up. That lead marble slows way down also. Oh, and just one penalty second added. The Orangers go into second place. There is where it became dislodged. Otherwise, they kept it clean over the speed boost and that tricky penultimate jump before coming down across the line. Notching in just behind Mellow Yellow, Rojo Rollers are displaced to bronze. 12 of 16 brings us the Hazers. Off they go. Oh, and this is getting well out of sorts. One has been lost. They're hitting all of the steeples coming down the run. Not good. Four penalty seconds. Hazers are in last. A team that sits fifth in the standings. They've won all three colors of medals thus far in the Marble League. But somebody stranded haplessly up the course and a lot of dislodged sticks. It's not working for them. The Orangers join in. They wouldn't have captured gold had they eliminated that penalty point. They still would have been trailing Mellow Yellow, but just barely. Green Ducks are off now, our fourth place team who jumped four spots after the last event. They keep everybody bunched up. Is that too much chaos? Did they knock any sticks down? They did, two of them, but it's good enough provisionally for silver. Green Ducks knock the O-Rangers down. Where was their struggle? Oh, it might have been right there. A little tough to tell with the motion blur. They did impact that last one. I don't know if it was dislodged. The Quack attacked that course well. Savage speeders now as we get into the final three. Third place in the standings, and of course our winners at the steeplechase back in 2017. One has already finished. They're gonna get all four to finish, but what is the time? That was a large gap from first to second, and look at the top time, 7.06. That's half a second off some of the best runs. Now the Raspberry Racers. This guarantees that Mellow Yellow will get a medal. Raspberry Racers, their fourth marble struggling. Top three, trying to bunch it up across the line. Fifth. That gives a stay for Mellow Yellow once more. They are guaranteed no worse than Silver, but can Momo dethrone them? Mellow Yellow holding the lead. Will it stay that way? Yes, it will. Mellow Yellow have won gold. Congratulations to the Arrangers, the Green Dots, and the Gold Medalists. Green Ducks get the silver and O'Rangers the bronze. We're gonna go back to 2019 in the five meter sprint. The last time we saw Mellow Yellow stand atop the Marble League podium. Green Ducks in the meantime, that is their third straight silver. I mentioned they jumped four spots after the last event. That's gonna help them a lot in this one. Here was the gold medal winning run from the Mellow Yellow team. All four finished. All four ran pretty good times, only the top three that count. And it did well to get them a gold and 25 points for the standings. Just two teams only coming away with one penalty second. With the Green Ducks, they had two of them and still managed silver. What does this do to our overall standings? Shakes things up just a little bit. Only in the mid-pack, though, the Green Ducks stay where they are, but look at up top. A two-point difference between Momo and the Raspberry Racers. Patreon message out there. Hope everyone's having a great 2021. Let's go crazy cat's eyes from Michigan, USA. Also a reminder, make sure you pick your final perks if you are part of the in-demand Indiegogo campaign. The link will be in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. We hope to see you at the next event, The Sand Moguls.